Welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial. In this very tutorial, it's all about uh, counting vowels. And in this case, I have actually used do while loop. The previous one was just a for loop. And this is uh, in a reply to my dear friend, Mr. 3D. So I've completed it using do while loop, and all that you ask for is right here. So supposing we enter whatever character. If I enter A's, you can count that yourself. Let's say we enter Y, both in uppercase and lowercase. You click on the count vowels. This is what you get, and that's how it looks. You can see the amount, uh, the numbers of A in there, and you can also see the amount of letter Y we have in there. You can count it. We have three here, another three, and another three. That makes nine. And the same thing applies to this. In total, we have 17. I believe that's what you want, and that's what I've done. So, but uh, the operation is now working. I've not incorporated my, I've not incorporated my speech, uh, text to speech uh, features. So I'm just going to end this program and go straight into my coding area. But just before that, let me introduce you to the interface. Okay, right here, that's just my title. Just to make it look a little bit pretty, you can see that's label one right there, label two. And this is a text box, see right there, you can see right there, this is another title. Okay, giving feedback of how many counters we have for each character. And you can see label three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And right here have label nine. Label nine is just to give the total entry. Now here I have my button one, to do the counter for me and reset button so if we go straight into the codes right here let's double click on this right up here I have all of my variables declared there they are if you notice I've used double E here because if you use a single E that means you are referring to the system itself right there this is my second variable this is for string and all of these uh, entering for the vowels is as integer so that they can do the counting for me right here now the data enter data variable is assigned whatever is in the text box is actually assigned to enter data and do y q is less than of data dot length that is it do the counting there and increment by one that is where all of the countings are taking place right here using a do y statement sorry let me slow this down for you guys to see get rid of this those are the lines of codes let's scroll down a little bit more down down as you can see they are all the same lines of codes this is just to convert the data that is inside my enter data right there so that the counting can take place you can see it's similar lines of code you can always take that off that's for end y only if you don't implement the do uh, the do y and right here this is where all the feedback comes into the each of the labels right there and that's my total feedback there what I will do next is to finish up is just uh, right here button 2 is to reset the whole system so I'm just gonna copy all of this dump it right there and come right here enter nothing there I can even copy this and just highlight and paste that is just to reset my labels and I also need to reset the text box so I would just type that in and finally I will incorporate a text to speech into the system text box one the text equals get rid of that now let's declare the sappy let's declare sappy up there 
for the text to speech and right underneath here yep right here I don't want to be too fast with it let's scroll right down gently so that you can have another look at the codes see it's just similar it's not that difficult you can do it so Mr. 3D I believe I have answered your question okay for SAPI I just want SAPI to deliver as follows equals create great object for me and just get SAPI right in there SAPI dot voice that's the wrong spelling and close that then come down here and say SAPI dot speak all I want SAPI to say is just to tell us the the content that is in here so in that case I might as well enter label 9 label 9 dot text instead of writing the whole thing out so if I run the program right now supposing I enter whatever let's say total number of vowels enter equals five okay like you can see that's it we have a if you count it yourself one two three four five and that's it right there okay i believe i've managed to answer your question and uh, the reset button works as well so if i click on that there so my dear friend you have a nice day now let me show you the codes one more time. Total number of vowels enter equals seven.